In this video, I'll go ahead and go through the actual section setup on the front end. So now that we've already created our own custom section, we go to the actual job listing page and you'll notice here this new section I actually set to show above the work scout listings. And you'll see right here, this is a section that does not actually have any fields yet. When there's no fields configured in there, you'll see this little icon hand icon right here to add another field. Now you'll notice each section will have in the top left corner these four buttons over here where you can save, you can turn off the editing, which the editing is actually so that you can view it as a normal user would view it. And if you want to get back to that, you come back over here, hover over it, and you'll be able to edit it. Go back into editing mode. You also have the option to go to this drop down, and you can go to disable editing or enable editing. And so you'll notice here we have this, and then we have the editing, we have to edit the section, and then we have to add a field. So let's go ahead and open up the drawer to edit the actual section itself. So as you'll notice here, this is the actual section configuration. So when we set up the new section, we actually configured the output location right here above the job results. Here's the priority. Here's the form settings we had on here. And then here's some other settings right here. So let's go ahead and dive through this. So each section, you can configure it to show a label if you want. And this selecting this right here will show the label. Normally for a section, you're not going to want to show the label. Really, the only time you'll want to show the label is whenever you're using the checkbox feature. I will go into the checkbox feature in an, the next video. For right now, we'll just go ahead and go through each everything else that's kind of on here. So you'll see right here, we also have the wrapper classes. If you want to add specific CSS classes to a wrap to the actual wrapper around this entire section, you can add any of those in here separated by a space. You'll notice up here at the top, we then also have spacing and styles. So spacing is actually over here where you can come in here and you can change the spacing of the actual section itself, which then inside of the section has all the fields. Each field will have its own spacing as well. And then also over here you have different styles. So here on styles you can add custom CSS styles for the actual section, for the actual label, for the actual checkbox, if you're using the dynamic checkbox you also have this right here to show a custom editor. So right here, if you wanted to actually add in your own custom CSS, you can come in here and set up your own custom CSS and say, you know, display none, something like that. Once you save it, it'll actually save this on here and apply it to that. I'm not gonna add any in here for now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all that. So let's come back over here. So let's go ahead and dive into the actual checkbox show and hide checkbox. So what we have here is with this setting you can conditionally show what is inside of this entire section based on a checkbox. So as I mentioned you'll normally want to show the label right? So we have the label right there we're showing the label and then let's go ahead and set this and we're gonna show that this wants to, we want this to be checked initially. So as you can see we have this check right here and if we click that Everything that's inside of that section actually hides itself. This is so if you wanted to have a section that has a bunch of fields, say that, you know, our advanced filtering, advanced searches, stuff, stuff like that, this gives you the ability to do that. Now, with this actual setting, there is a demo that I did with the listable theme, which is available in the actual tutorial videos as well, where I go through setting up a location field and a range slider using that advanced section details that I had just kind of mentioned. So. Inside of your actual section, we'll just kind of move on from that. Inside of your actual section, you can sit here and you can add fields. So when you click this, you'll notice an initial field will be added here. Initially, the field will be a spacer field type. And I'm going to go through all of the different field types in another video, just to kind of give you a brief overview of how this actually gets configured in here in the section itself. So you can add multiple fields to show in this section, as many as you want, set them up, move them around, configure them however you need to go back to that checkbox and you'll see we need to hide them there they get hide it hide it <laughs> hidden we'll say um, so now you'll notice if we're looking at this right now you see how we have the actual fields are set up the checkbox itself you'll notice how it's kind of right above the label itself depending on your theme and whatever you have CSS is being loaded on the page sometimes there will be styles and stuff that will be applied to different labels checkboxes stuff like that Unfortunately, it's hard for me to be able to 
be compatible with every single, single theme and custom plugin that adds CSS to a site. So to get around this and deal with this, that's where you can go back into editing this section. And then over here on the styles, you'll notice you have the ability to add different styles to um, the section, the label, the checkbox itself. So let's go ahead and just try this right here. Let's try and do a float left. And there you go. You notice we actually added this float left CSS style, and now it shows right there next to it. And you'll see there it's not showing below it. So we'll open this back up, and we'll go back over here to styles, and we'll say that you know maybe I need it to come down a little bit so that it looks like it's it's correctly positioned on there. So we'll put like uh, we'll do a margin top, and we'll put 5px. And so you'll notice you can change this as much as you want and kind of add any kind of CSS value that you want to add here to adjust it as you need it to be. So let's go ahead and add another one. Let's add a margin left. And let's go ahead and add, let's set that to 10px as well. Okay, that didn't work. So that's not, that's not what we want. We actually want to do margin right. So let's do margin right. That was my mistake. So now you'll see we have margin right and it gives us some spacing between here. And so you'll need to know a little bit of CSS to kind of play around with this, but that kind of gives you a brief overview of how sections are set up, spacing, configuration, styles. In another video, I'll go through all the spacing, all the styles, and all that stuff.